Although 3D printing has been around for more than 20 years, it's fairly new to the dental industry. Like many other breakthrough technologies, there can be roadblocks for dentists and other team members when it comes to incorporating 3D printing into the practice. One of the biggest barriers has been the lack of understanding of what benefits 3D printing can provide for patients, as well as how it fits into the flow of other dental technologies in the practice. In fact, there are many myths and misconceptions to the incorporating 3D printing into a dental practice. In this video, I'm gonna debunk seven myths and misconceptions about 3D printing that may be preventing dental practitioners from moving forward with this exciting technology. Before I forget, if you find this content useful, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the Henry Schein Dental YouTube channel. All right, let's begin. Myth number one is that 3D printing is not a validated clinical workflow. And the reality is the resins used for 3D printing, such as surgical guides, night guards, and dentures, all need to go through the FDA approval process. In fact, many, if not all of the appliances that you receive from your lab are already being 3D printed. Myth number two is that I need a dental 3D printer to print in the office. Or that all 3D printers are created equally and dental 3D printers are just more expensive. And the reality is that there's three main types of 3D printers. There's the SLA, extrusion-based, and DLP printers. The extrusion-based printers can't be used because they don't have biocompatible materials. They heat up a thin filament of resin and then deposit it onto a build platform. The SLA and DLP printers are approved by the FDA and you should trust using those in your office. Myth number three is that a 3D printer or CAM, that is computer-aided manufacturing hardware, is going to replace my lab. The reality is that manufacturing an office will not replace your lab and especially not for complex cases. Matter of fact, it's recommended to design or uh, design the appliance with the lab. With the lab only doing the design aspect of the manufacturing, CAM is usually going to reduce the overhead costs of the practice. Myth number four is that 3D printing is labor intensive or requires a lot of lab work to get to a finalized appliance. And the reality is the work that goes into refining a 3D part is completely dependent on the design and the quality of your printer. Most of the appliances that a 3D printer is used for can be directly 3D printed with little or no adjustments needed. And for those bigger cases, like your full arches, your crowns, or even your bridges, they just require the same amount of adjustment that you usually get need from your lab. Myth number five is that my staff will not be able to handle running a 3D printer or that I'll need to hire a lab tech or just do it myself. The reality is that 3D printing is an extremely simple workflow. Any resin-based 3D printer goes from the printer, gets washed of extra resin via isopropyl alcohol, and then it's finally cured. A matter of fact, all the resins are programmed into the hardware, so the steps are as simple as just clicking a button. Myth number six is that I don't have the necessary hardware to support or run a 3D printer. And the reality is, for 3D printing in the office, all that you need is a 3D file. The best way to do this is just with an intraoral scanner, but a 3D file can be made by your lab once they've received your physical impression. And a matter of fact, a lot of CBCTs can also make you a 3D file. You should just know that when using a CBCT, that 3D file is of a slightly lower quality than you would get from a scanner or even from your lab. Myth number seven is that 3D printers offer little to no value outside of a marketing or wow factor for digitally focused practices. And the reality is 3D printers are the cheapest way to generate revenue in your practice, especially with your day-to-day -day workflows. For example, when you're integrating a 3D printer, the cost of appliances and models goes down to about $5 an arch. When we look at something like an occlusal guard, that's a savings of $195 per guard. When you look at other devices like dentures, surgical guides, all on four, all on six cases, it's really obvious to see how quickly a 3D printer can pay for itself. Before we wrap up, I wanna leave you with some final thoughts. 3D printing is definitely a part of the future of the dental industry. It offers improved digital workflow, better time savings, increased return on investment, and a lot of new and exciting ways to make life easier for patients and dentists alike. At Henry Schein Dental, we're here to help you manage your aspects of your equipment selection at every step of the way. 
visit our website, henryshineequipmentcatalog.com for more information on 3D printers and be sure to click the subscribe button as well as the bell icon to be notified for all future videos.